What is going on, guys? DBG, and today we're going to be talking about the, well, we're going to be talking about the new rewritten set. What is, in my opinion, one of the worst sets we've ever had in my team. I'm just going to put it out there. This set is garbage. It is absolutely garbage, and we're going to be ranking these garbage men from worst to, you know what? There's two good cards. We're going to be ranking it from worst to slightly less bad to decent. But I'm not going to lie, right now, there is zero players that I would advise anyone to buy. There are zero players in the top two for their position in their price range. Other than, actually, no. you know what? Yeah, I'll go zero. I'll go zero. Either way, when we're talking about the worst player in this set, it is Darius Miles. The worst jump shot in the game, combined with the worst dribble style in the game. I don't care about the stats. The man can't play. He is a try. You can hold to a triangle button, and he's standing dunks. That's all he does. You go to the jump shot. He won't do anything other than dunk. He's not even a great defender. Darius Miles is, in my opinion, the worst player in this entire set. As he can't dribble or shoot. And the next two players, the next, like, five players on the list can't do one or the other. Dribble or shoot. Some can't do both. And, uh, next worst is six foot two point guard who can't with basic dribble style Jay Williams. The guy's a garbage man. Good release, sure. Garbage man. Garbage man. He's useless. These stats don't lie. These stats lie. Like, if you try to actually move with the guy in game, that speed feels like it's 65, not 95. He's slower with the ball than Kyle Korver, who's got 60 speed. Jay Williams is a trash can. He's one of the worst players I've used in a long, long time that has come out. As in, worst new players that's come out in a long, long time. We, I can't even remember the last time we got cards worse than Jay Williams, and he's not even the worst player out today. After Jay Williams, we're going to go with Purvis Ellison. He's an undersized center who can't shoot. Do I need to say any more? He can't shoot. He can't dribble. He's got a decent release, but that doesn't matter because he can't shoot the ball. Lateral quickness is decent. He can play a little bit of defense. Does not mean he's good. He doesn't do anything. He literally is just a all-around. He's an all-around mid machine, other than his jump shot, and he can't dribble. He's he's a worthless. He's genuinely, genuinely a worthless player. And we're. Uh, We've got three worthless players so far here. And now we're cracking onto our top 10. And like the fact that um, Darko Milicic makes, you know what, screw it. The fact that Emeka Okafor makes the top 10 is 10. Emeka Okafor is garbage. Like Emeka Okafor, his release is pretty good. His dribbling is actually pretty good. The problem is he's got a 57 ball handle and 43 balls. So none of that, neither of that matters. He's at a 36 steal as well. He doesn't feel very fast in game. He's not a great defender. Uh, because of that steel rain, the ball just goes through his hands. Sure, he's got anchor, post lockdown, removal enforcer, but he's a 6'10 center who can't shoot. Worthless card in today's game. And at least Darko Milicic is a 7 foot center who can't shoot. Like, neither of them can shoot. Darko Milicic is a way better three point shooter, though. He'll hit one of five when, when he's wide open. Got a mid range shooter as well, and he's got more length. Not quite as fast, but he's still got all of those gold defensive badges on gold. And Darko has been a better player in game when I've used him than I'm at Okafor. Still a straight up trash can. Like a straight up trash can. Like we have not found a good player yet. And we're through five. And we're going to continue with our bad players through number six, Sebastian Telfair. Like, what is he meant to do? Like they bear, like not only, like I've said like a hundred times, but it's hard to explain. Did they crack out his cigs? Kind of. They kind of cracked out a six. But again, he's a six foot point guard. I don't really like this card. I've tried to use him. I've tried to like him. They gave him Russell Westbrook release on quick with Dragic over. It's not a good release. Kyrie dribble style, sure. Stevie Francis size up, sure. Sure, they're good six. Bad behind the back. Can't dunk to save his life. And a trash can of a defender. So, like, we're looking at a straight up all around useless machine but you know what he's by far better than d6 or d5 sorry because um marcus pfizer has gone one spot ahead of him and this is the last of our like terrible cards marcus pfizer doesn't have a great release he he's all right he doesn't do anything well doesn't do anything bad marcus pfizer is just meh like there's never a situation where you ever have to use marcus pfizer there's never a situation where you would ever choose to use marcus pfizer he is just fine he's fine so d7 here i'll call the seven deadly sins of rewritten 
if you could rewrite this set, you would just get rid of all of them. Because they are the garbage men of the set. They are legitimately the garbage men of the set. The rest of these guys, they've got something going for them, I guess. And at number, uh, at number seven, we are going to put in, ooh. I think at seven, I'm going to put in Harold Miner. Because his release is only okay. Great dunker. Not the best defender, not the best dribbler. Not a bad defender either, though. But, like, he will shoot the ball pretty well. He'll dunk the ball really well. He's got some nice um, defensive badges, but, like, he's a 6'5", 2 guard. Be a point guard eligibility. One of the best point guards in the game for under 10K. No point guard eligibility. He's not even as good as Cam Reddish, so. He's not a top 5 shooting guard under 10K. So I gotta put him there. Next. Odin. Odin just feels clunky. He's a seven foot tall center. Who looks all right. It doesn't look like he's any flaws, but he's only okay. He just isn't very good. And that's just all I'm gonna say. Like, he's, he's okay. Like, he's not gonna shoot the ball. Bad release. And he's not got, like, anything really going for him in-game. Other than his size, which isn't even great. And he's the same price as David Robinson, which is you should never get. So, yeah, I, I don't think he's particularly great. And then we're going to go with uh, Jonathan Bender. He's got, he's got length. Jonathan Bender has got a lot of length. Trust me on that. He's a 6'11 with a long wingspan. Nice power forward, nice small forward. His stats are all around decent, and his jumper is greenable, I guess. He's got some nice badges as well. So, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys, he's good. He's good. Like, this is the first card I'll say is good in this set. I'm kind of like all gotten all my anger out at this stage, but like, Jonathan Bender is actually a really good card. A really nice um, ruby card. And the first card I would say in this set is, like, he's mediocre. The first card I would say, like, yeah, you, you might go and buy him. Go and buy him for 10k. You might like him more than the other 10k. You might think he's the best 10k small forward in the game, but there's an argument to be made for that. And that's the first card we can say in this um, set that's worth picking up. And at uh, number four, we're going to go Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is a very undersized player with a bad release. His He'll hit shots, he'll dunk on people, he'll play a bit of defense, and he'll run. His release is still garbage. I don't care that he's got 15 bat Hall of Fame badges. He's not a top, he's probably between five and 10 in top 10 point guards in the game. Um, if you've ever used Diamond Rosa Westbrook, imagine Diamond Rosa Westbrook was slightly worse. And that's what you've got in Derrick Rose. That's just my opinion on that. And then we have got Grant Hill in here at number three, a very obvious one. Like good enough shooter, good defender. Animations are only okay, but he's just a fine card. Like he doesn't do anything great. He doesn't do anything bad. He's just, again, between five and 10 for the best small boards in the game. The problem is, is that, that that position, Kawhi Leonard and Tatum exist for the same price, which is better than um, and now we're on the top two. And number two is going to be the biggest fraud in my team, Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison's good, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, Adam Morrison is really good. The, I've used this guy a couple of times. That Jerry West upper is so bad. I did not realize how bad it was going to be. Like, everybody... If you get a slightly bad catch... On the Adam Morrison jump shot, you are not hitting it. You're not hitting it. The Jerry West upper also, you have to release the ball. Even on, I play on set point. You still have to release effectively at the edge of his hand. It is horrible. Anyone, like I have to really feel like I have to release so late on set point. Anyone playing on push, heck the ball will have to be out of his hands by the time you have to release the button. It is just such an awkward release, but at the same time, his stats are ridiculous. His player build's awful, by the way. His dribble sigs are not very good. Um, his jumper is not okay, is okay, and I hate the trade fade. So, um, Adam Morrison's coming in here at number two. And at number one, we've got, like, a good power forward. Arguably, like, if you want to argue that this is the best power forward in the game, go for it. Go for it. Like, 79-3 ball, but his release is immaculate. He's got good ball handle, great defense, great size, great speed. You're looking at 80 level player. As well as that, he's got those 11 halves, including half anchor, big driver, bulldozer, precision dunker. Uh, 25 goals as well. I'm telling you, this guy is, this guy's legit. This guy's absolutely legit. 
Um, he's the only player, if you're looking for high-end players, the only player that's even worth anything in this game, um, in this set. But I will say this is one of the worst sets we've ever gotten in my team. This set is straight up garbage. Like we actually thought normally the January, the last set of season three for the last two years, the last week of season three for the last two years, one year we got Terry Dishinger at moments in a month. Terry Dishinger played in half the 250 squads. Moments in a month was just freaking ridiculous. We got so many free cards. We got free Galaxy Opal. January 7 last year was flash forward and everyone thought this was going to be this year's flash forward set. And this year is the garbage Matt and set. They're all garbage other than Kwame Brown. I'm not going to lie. These cards also, almost all suck. And the only cards I would say are worth it. If you are, if you have 180k and you want a power forward, or 150k and you want a power forward, Kwame Brand's not a bad option. This guy's worth it for 10k. Nobody else is worth even considering picking up in this entire session.